Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 animation series. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at the different types of animation assets that we have available to us to create the animated elements that we're going to be doing. If you've downloaded the animation starter pack, what you should have is a folder full of animations and a bunch of other little assets such as animation blueprints, blend spaces, um, skeletal meshes and all of that good stuff. And what I want to do is essentially just take an opportunity to explain what each one of these do and their role in the process of creating characters that can be played complete with animations and all of that good stuff. So I'll start off from the very beginning, the very beginning of the process that is, and that is with the raw animation data. So like I said in the last video, an animation is not made inside of Unreal Engine 4, it's made in something like Maya or Blender or so on and then it's imported as an FBX file. And this is going to give you a raw animation file, sort of similar to these ones here. So the little ones with the green tag at the bottom, this is simply just an animation. And if I wanted to, I could double click on one of these to open it up and see exactly what is in this animation. Now, when it comes to animation data, that is essentially all it is at the moment. There is nothing telling it when to play that animation how to play that animation, and that is where an animation blueprint is going to come in. So moving on from just the raw animations at the moment, let's take a quick look at an animation blueprint. As part of your animation starter pack, you should have one in here. You can double click this to open it up and you can see exactly what it's here for. So essentially, an animation blueprint is going to tell the game engine when to play the different animations and how to play the different animations. So if I come out of this default idle state and go to locomotion, I should get this little screen here, which is essentially our state machine. And what this is telling it to do is you've got the different states and it's telling the engine when to play those different states. And if I open one of these, for example, my jogging state, it's telling it when to play that animation. We'll be looking at that in a little bit more detail later on, but for now, what you guys need to know and understand is that an animation blueprint essentially tells the engine when and how to use that animation data, which is in the green tag. An animation blueprint will always be a sort of dark orange color for the tag underneath that. Moving on from there, You've also got a skeletal mesh. Now a skeletal mesh, if you go into your content, your UE4 underscore mannequin and mesh folder, you have your skeletal mesh. And your skeletal mesh is essentially the physical representation of the item that you're trying to animate. And when it comes to meshes, you've got a static mesh and a skeletal mesh. The difference between the two is a skeletal mesh can be animated because it's got um, a skeleton within it. So it's got bones and those bones can be moved along. So essentially what a skeletal mesh is, is just the physical representation of the character complete with a skeleton. And we're gonna be looking at that skeleton in a little bit more detail in one of the next videos. But hopefully you guys are starting to understand some of the different components. But what I can do with this skeletal mesh, for example, I can select one of the bones and just move it, spin it around, do all of that good stuff. Um, but we'll go into a bit more detail about the whole interface and all of that a little bit later on. In addition to the skeletal mesh, if I go ahead and close that, you've also got the physics asset and also the mannequin uh, skeleton as well. So those will always come with a skeletal mesh. Um, with the physics asset, you don't always have to use it, but it's going to be used for creating things like ragdoll physics and all of that good stuff. A little bit more detail on that later on in the series. And then the skeleton is essentially just the skeleton. So this is going to contain all the information for all of the different bones and all of that good stuff. And like I said, we'll be diving deeper into that in a little bit more detail later on in the series. 
But for now, hopefully you guys have got a better understanding of some of the different animation asset types. There is still some more that we're going to run into such as blend spaces, but we will cover those later on in the series. But for now guys, I hope this has definitely helped and make sure you head over to the next video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Vertis, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.